All right. Welcome back, guys, to another Loners. We appreciate you guys being here. We hope you all are doing well. Let us know your, your Christmas plans in the comments below, what you guys are doing. Yep. All right, this is episode 136. Roll the intro. All right. So <laughs> we're back today with another episode. Today we're going to do a video called 10 Weird Facts About the UK. It was done eight years ago, but let's see if it's how relevant it still is right now. It's by The Richest. I'll put the original in the description. And also, guys, if you haven't, I know we haven't posted lately, but jump over to our vlog channel and just watch the videos that we have right now. All right, let's begin. <laughs> <coughs> 10 weird facts about the UK. Weights and measures. Depending on where you grew up, in school you learned about either the imperial or metric form of measurement. While there's the occasional overlap in methods in our daily lives, in the UK, it appears that both methods are found literally everywhere. Mm. In the store, drinks on the same shelf can be found in pints and liters. Gasoline is sold by the liter, but consumption of it is measured by the gallon. Food at the store, recipes for cooking, and measurements for various sports are all over the place. Word pronunciation. Okay, is it is true. Weird? Much of the world got its language from the- Why is it weird to have both? We don't really have both, do we? No. We're the weird ones. I feel like most of the world has- metric and then most like, of the world does have metric so why is it weird for them to have both do you guys you guys measure in both let us know i don't think they do i think it's <clears> just there for like foreigners like, but so know. then they're familiar with both i don't think i'm sure they are i don't think they're as familiar yeah. as it would be maybe you guys are i don't know yeah it's <laughs> we aren't we're just yeah <laughs> British. That said, while we are sure they can make fun of the way we say certain words, Wait, the only the only thing that is the metric is when the only time I hear it regularly is like when it comes to like races, like the three the three meter the five k. That is true. That's it. Yeah, that is true. Like with marathons and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good. UK point. also has some pretty weird ways of saying everyday words. <laughs> Name like Leicester and Worcestershire can cause tourist problems because they aren't pronounced anything like how they look. That's Other so words funny. Can be just as weird. Sorry to stop again. Th there's that sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> to me, that's a hard word to say. I always thought it was Worcestershire. <laughs> We're gonna get you so. Where's this? Where's this here? What does that taste like? Um, by itself, not good, but you you just kind of like add it to different ingredients. Like you, it's, it's an ingredient. So yeah, I like, know. I mean, I've never seen anyone dip their chicken nugget. In yeah, that's what shots. I meant. Is it like does no. anyone use it like that? I would hope not. Maybe I'm sure you guys there are people do. that do. Cause there's fucking weirdos everywhere. Um. <laughs> Watch it be like a common sauce in the UK. Yeah, I know. Let us like, know. What yeah. are you talking about? We use that on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. For example, vitamins is pronounced vitamins, privacy is pronounced privacy, and garage is pronounced garage. Ugh. Yeah, that's garage. so true. We couldn't have a discussion oh, about the no. weird things of the UK without bringing up Marmite. This food is a dark paste made from yeast extract, which people either love or hate. Created in the 19th century, versions of this bread can be found throughout the world, but the original can still be found in the UK, Weirdos. where people spread it on crackers <laughs> and toast or even mix it with hot water. Most Pretty people much. new to the spread can't get past the fact that it looks like brown glue and smells bad. There are even it videos does. people have posted of friends challenging each other to eat this very British spread. Geordie Shore. <laughs> if you ever thought the show Jersey Shore Geordie was weird, Shore. then you have to watch the British version, Geordie Shore. This oh, program what? focuses on a group of people oh, from the Newcastle New area of Northern England with their very so ridiculous storylines. Viewers, Wait, so you guys uh, have your own like Jersey Shore people. That's so funny, Geordie Shore. Why am I just finding out about this? And this is eight years old. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wait, I'm I, guessing all you guys know about this then. I need... We need to see it. I need to use a VPN. To we should Geordie react Shore. to some of the clips. Geordie Shore. That'd be pretty funny. That's and most of the time, watching the cast date each other, <laughs> stab each other in the back, and make so up only to repeat the process over and over. Awful fake tans, overly tight clothing, and questionable hairstyles prove that this wow. has to be a classic Jersey Shore spinoff. We're just not yeah. sure if foreigners will be able to understand what the cast is actually saying thanks to their thick Geordie accents. 
Accents. Since we're on the topic of Geordie accents, why not mention the fact that the UK is full of many weird sounding accents? It's like every region of the UK has That's a completely true. distinct different. accent. A confusing greeting. Around the world, there are a number of ways people greet one another. We're used to such greetings as hello or hi. In the UK, more than one foreigner has been thrown off when a local greets them saying, you all right? To a North American, when someone <laughs> asks that, we immediately think that we either look sick or have an acting imp- That is pretty funny. If or we that you have like a stank yeah, face. Yeah, like imagine we're in the UK and we go into like a coffee shop or something and they're like, you all right? And we'll be like, I, yeah, I'm okay. Like, why? Like, it would be so awkward. Yeah, that, that is weird to like, that's weird. But Australians kind of do that too, I notice. Because they're like- um, Is that like, how, how are you? Yeah, it's just like, hello. Like, how are you? Cause don't ask me if I'm all right. <laughs> She's, imagine Linda, answer. you're like, I'm well, like, no. you're like, well, today actually, I was kind of Proper. feeling like. You're in fact, in the UK, you all right is just their way of asking, how are you? But it has no doubt yeah. led to some uncomfortable moments for both tourists and visitors. <laughs> Strange <laughs> laws. It's just common sense that when you travel to a foreign country, you learn their laws. Head to the UK, and you are sure to find a few laws created many years ago that'll make you take notice. For instance, it's illegal to wear a suit of armor into the House of Parliament. Once inside Parliament, yeah. it's also illegal to die. If you're heading on down to the seaside, be sure not to harm any whales, dolphins, or sturgeon, as every one of those creatures within three miles of the shore belongs to the queen. Two taps oh, for water. Wait, shit. I'm sorry, what? Imagine existing and just owning three miles they just of said it's, animals in the underwater. What? It's illegal to die. Yeah, you. it's been like 10 seconds past that, we know. Okay, stay, stay she she talks really fast and she's yeah. going through each thing really fast i know she's going through the weird stuff as if like it's yeah you know that's, yeah i know i'm like no we need to unpack that <laughs> but um yeah don't 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 die there we need to look up some of the old interesting laws from the uk because i'm sure there's a lot because they have an old history there we even have weird ass laws in some of them yeah yeah when asked about what weird things stood out in the UK, Reddit users were very vocal about the fact that many places use two separate taps. Travelers note that one tap supplies boiling hot water while the other is ice cold. This can make washing your hands a bit challenging what? and uncomfortable. What? More than one traveler has complained about having to wash their hands in ice cold water because there is no single faucet. I'm as so it is confused. I don't get it. What do you, I don't get it. What do you do? There's one for hot and one for cold. Yeah, but there's not two faucets. <laughs> Wait, it says there was no single faucet as is so common in North America. So there is, each sink has two faucets. I'm confused. Am I reading that right? Clarify that in the comments because that's Cause I, weird. Because the visual wasn't adding yeah, up to what they're saying. <laughs> Just clarify it for us, please. So common in North America. We figure the people of the UK either lack nerve endings in their hands, or they are just a tougher breed of people. Drinking age. On the surface, the drinking laws in the UK sound fairly similar to those in North America. Across the Atlantic, the drinking age is 18. That sounds pretty good to a lot of the kids in North America. However, go to a licensed establishment when you're 16 or 17, and you can also drink as long as you are there with an adult nice. and the drink is served with your meal. In your own house or any other private establishment, the drinking age drops dramatically and anyone over five years of age can legally drink alcohol. Sandwiches. Who does- Wait wild so then if someone's hosting a party it's legal then if like their niece and nephew are there and they're like 12 or 13 and they're drinking interesting because here they would be like supplying alcohol to minors if they like crash the party like the cops and stuff yeah <laughs> they're I mean, they're like just put little fucking timmy I to think, bed <laughs> i don't think they mean like at a house party with a bunch of kids i think they mean like with, with your a family, family. Yeah, yeah yeah i get you Damn. As if anyone would know anyway. Yeah. I'm sure there's people here the that baby. give their kids alcohol. Doesn't love sandwiches. Yes, it is generally agreed that we have the British to thank for our tasty <laughs> creation, and specifically, John Mantagu, the fourth Earl of Sandwich. <laughs> Of That's course, one adding their own weird twist to the sandwich, <laughs> travelers in the UK may stumble across a sandwich known as the Chip Buddy. What is this? The Chip Buddy involves cramming french fries between yeah. two slices of bread and adding condiments of your choosing. Definitely like not a low-carb option. The Chip Buddy is weird, but also sounds it. really delicious. We hope you found some of these things about the UK. I'm sorry. That's the end of the video, but I'm sorry. Wait, the, fries in between bread? Just put it in a burrito. It That's just true. seems it seems like it would make more sense to wrap it up because the french fries are going to fall out. It's a good it's point. It's not as practical. It's a good point. Something um, to think about, UK. I know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just out here changing lives, okay? <laughs>
The, those are pretty interesting things. I actually hadn't heard of the Jordy Shore. I want to watch that. I want to watch Jordy yeah. Shore. <laughs> we need to do some reactions to that video, to those like videos. Um, she did everything a little too fast, in my opinion. She was just That's like going through it real quick. He said. <laughs> but yeah, those are interesting things. Um, if you enjoyed that, guys, like and subscribe. Okay, we appreciate it. Drop some comments below. Um, I've been like go trying to go back and comment on some of the stuff, but the the app kind of changed the YouTube app for like doing that, and it's been weird commenting because you can't go excuses. to like a specific excuses. He hates all of you. Stop. <laughs> Appreciate you all. Go over to the blog channel. Peace. Thank you for watching. Peace. Peace. Peace.